Hey VIPs, it's Lex Joy from Lex Joy VIP Access and today I'm with the magnificent Madison Alamia. <laughs> and we're here today at Reality Dance's terrific event. So Madison, I just want to congratulate you on all the phenomenal success with your career. Thank you so much. I'm really, really happy to be here today. I'm so excited to see all the fans and the supporters that came out. Um, they spend money to be here and I'm, I'm really, really grateful for that. And I'm really happy to also meet all the guys that are on the tour with me as well. So it's just been a blast so far. I've been here for two days and this is my first tour with Reality Dance. So it is awesome. Yeah. Now speaking of Reality Dance, what is it like for you going on tour and meeting all of your fans? Honestly, it's, it's probably the greatest thing in the world. I, I, I don't have any more fun doing that like I have I have the most fun doing that more than anything because to see the the smile on their face and the kind of effect that I have on them is just it's heartwarming it's heartwarming so I'm just really really grateful for them and I'm really really grateful to have them I meant so yeah I'm really happy you are such an exceptional role model I just want to say that Thank first so of all you. and you are also a terrific dancer you sweep fans off their feet with your <laughs> dance moves Thank can you, you so tell much. us what inspired you to become a dancer um actually when I was younger I was like one years old maybe uh, I lived in Staten Island and my mom would be driving me around I had my little car seat in the back <laughs> And she would like turn on the radio because my mom loves music as well. She would be playing like hip hop or or some sort of music with a crazy beat, and I would be in the back and I'd just be like bopping my head baby and I'd be like moving my arms like a little baby me. And she like from there she knew she saw that I had music in me. So then growing up, going to family parties and stuff like communions and whatnot, uh, I would always be on the dance floor dancing. So she was like, you know what? I know you love dancing, do you want me to put you in a dance school? And I was like, yeah, of course, I, it's something I always wanted to do. And then also seeing music videos like Chris Brown, Neo, Usher, all of them dancing on their music videos and the backup dancers, I was like, I want to be like that. I want to dance as good as those guys are dancing. So I was. Just, that's kind of what inspired me and I went to the dance school and that's where I learned how to dance and ever since I've just been doing my thing. And it's always been in you, you're a natural when you dance. <laughs> now, you. what does dance mean to you? Uh, dance is just a way of expressing yourself. Uh, if you're upset, you could dance in a certain way that expresses the sadness emotion. You could do happy. Uh, there's a genre of music for every type of emotion that you have. If you're really upset, you could listen to a love song or, or you could listen to a really slow lyrical song. And if you're really happy, you could listen to like some EDM or some pop music or hip hop. And so I feel like it's just the best, uh, it's a great way of expressing emotion. And it's something that you need to have in your life, in my opinion, uh, without dance. I feel like everyone dances. Yeah. Whether or not you're by yourself, you're in the shower, you're always dancing. You cannot say, oh, I, I never dance. And so, yeah, dance is just something you need to have in your life. You're not living if you don't dance. Yes, that is a phenomenal <laughs> answer. Great. And what are some of your upcoming projects that your fans can look forward to? Um, well, I have my YouTube channel out right now. So uh, I want to post some dancing stuff on there. I've been doing some vlogs and challenges so far. It just Aww, came out like a month ago. Yay. So you guys could check that out. It's YouTube slash uh, 732 Hip Hop 732. And I, I've only just came out uh, a month ago, like I said, and I only have a few videos up. But I, I have a lot of plans for it, and I like to keep the fans involved as well. I like ask them for <laughs> Tanner making me a funny face in the background. <laughs> um, I, I lost my train of thought. Another hey, interview, Bob. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't see my last interview. It's I okay. I had to do a few yeah, so I, I try to keep them involved as much as possible, so I ask them for ideas for my videos, so, and then I could shout them out, like, this was so-and-so's idea, I'm really, thank you for the idea. So yeah, there's a few videos up now, but I try to keep them up weekly, so that's one thing I've been up to. And then I have this tour, which I'm really, really excited for. So Great, you have so much going on now. I know that you just started your YouTube channel, but do you have a favorite video up so far? So far? My favorite video is probably my most recent one and probably most embarrassing one. It was a, it was the makeup challenge, oh, and nice. I was the one that got done the makeup on. You got dolled up. I got all dolled up. Oh. I did it with my brother, and uh, we both like switched off. So I did his makeup and then he did my makeup. It was just a mess, and I was really really embarrassed. But it was a lot a lot of fun, and it was um, it was a recommendation from one of the fans. And you know what? This is something that I don't see too often like two guys doing each other's makeup. I don't think I've ever even seen that on YouTube before. So that was just something that kind of sparked something in my head to do it. Let's just say to your brother that he's like not going to be a makeup artist for yeah, you. No, he is not a makeup artist. He did a really, really bad job on me. I did not like the way I look, even though a lot of the fans were like, oh my gosh, she looks so adorable. But yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Now, lastly, if you could bring out a message to all your fans watching, all of them, right? 
there, what message would that be? A message to the fans. <laughs> um, just to stay true to yourselves. Uh, whatever you do in life, don't ever stop. Stay, keep inspiring yourself to do more things. There's never a wall, there's never an end. So there's always more to improve on. There's never like, oh, um, don't ever get comfortable because there's someone out there that's gonna want it more than you yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah, just stay on top of your stuff and just keep doing what you're doing and stay true to yourself because that's gonna get you the farthest in life. That is honestly one of the best messages I've ever heard. That is so fantastic. Thank you so and much. you are so inspiring. All Thank of your you. message you. messages and answers have inspired me and I know all your fans watching. But if you could just bring out all your social media so your fans can stay connected yes. to you. Absolutely. Um my Twitter is at Madison to be one T O B E O N E. And on Instagram is Madison underscore to be one. You guys can find me on there. And also my YouTube I mentioned earlier in the video, so you can just rewind this <laughs> if you want to go check that out. <laughs> well, thank you so very much for speaking with Absolutely. me. I had an absolute blast. Thank you and so much. good luck on everything, and I wish you continued success with awesome. your career. Bye, right, guys. So That's much. VIP Access exclusive with the phenomenal Madison. Bye, guys.